Hey guys, it's Jenny and today we'll be making a teardrop camper in pancake art. So the topic that I felt led to talk to you about today revolves around taking risks. The reason that we're making a teardrop camper to represent this is because when you go on a camping adventure, you can take the road that everyone travels on or you can take a risk and try the off-beaten path. Following Christ is the off-beaten path and the road less traveled. I don't know about you guys, but I think risks are super hard to take for a few reasons. Probably the biggest reason, I guess, for most of us is the fear of the unknown. If we knew what was coming up, there'd be no reason to fear it, but we don't, and that alone is pretty scary. Another reason that risks are hard to take is because we lack the confidence to take them. And as we get older, we sort of have these ideas of what our limitations are and what our talents are. And anything that doesn't fit into those molds aren't something that we want to do. We like to do things that we're good at, right? The third reason that I think risks are hard to take is because we don't have the knowledge in that area to give it a try, so we just don't do it. If we keep all these reasons for not taking risks in mind, it's clear that our focus is on ourselves. The attitude is on how I feel about the risk and not about what God can do through me. Following the road less traveled always involves the greatest risks, the most fear, and it stretches you in uncomfortable ways, but it has the best rewards. Matthew 7, 13 through 14 is a great verse, and it says, Enter through the narrow gate, for, the wide, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. God has plans for your life, and they probably won't be safe and easy. You'll likely have to step out of your comfort zone a lot so that you can rely on his strength. It will be quite the adventure because you didn't dream it up yourself, and you have absolutely no idea where it's going, but you'll be able to step back many times in your life and say, wow, God, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your plan. Just know that God opens doors, so be brave and step through them. Before I go, I just wanted to show you that you can take the colored batter and make all sorts of different campers with them. So my kids voted that they like the original one best, but I'd love to know which one's your favorite. Be sure to email me if you have any prayer requests or you'd like a Bible, and thanks for watching!